Goose Island Beer Company believes that beer and its local community are inseparable. The natural resources available to the brewery play a pivotal role in the quality and cost of the product itself. Water, being the most voluminous ingredient in the brewing process, is one such local resource that Goose Island relies on and monitors carefully. So, the main brewing process starts with four ingredients. Who knows what they are? Water. Water. Good Hops are here. Yep. Barley. Barley. Yeast. And yeast. We've got a beer lover over here, right? So one of the most important ingredients is your water. Let's talk about that first. All of our water comes from Lake Michigan, Chicago City water. The reason we save water at Goose Island uh, is because we believe it's part of our corporate responsibility as a good business and a good business in the Great Lakes watershed region. Uh, if we run out of water in the Great Lakes, well, everybody runs out of water. It's not just us. So we're doing our part to, to make sure we conserve the water and, and don't use more than our fair share. Um, we don't really look at the bottom line until after things are done or in order to like, order the projects on the most impact or the least impact. In 2010, Goose Island's water input to beer ratio was in the neighborhood of five units of water per each unit of beer packaged. The brewery's goal for the upcoming year is to reduce its usage by 16% to less than 4.2 units of water per each unit of beer packaged. Through a combination of process changes already made, Goose Island is already well on its way to meet that goal. All water used in Goose Island's brewing process is carbon filtered, after which it goes into hot and cold water tanks. The hot water is used to make the wort, which is beer before fermentation. Cold water is used to cool the hot wort before it begins the fermentation process. Since Goose Island's water use in the brewing process is a completely closed system, and all water has already been filtered, the cooling water can then be reused for a subsequent mash. Goose Island collects the rinse water from the cleaning of fermentation tanks to use as a pre-rinse for future cleanings. The reuse of rinse water conserves about 100 gallons of water per pre-rinse and allows Goose Island to reduce its use of cleaning solution, which also makes for fewer chemicals in the brewery's waste stream. Revisions to Goose Island's bottling process have yielded additional water savings. Before it can be filled with beer, each bottle must be rinsed out. Goose Island replaced its former low-pressure, high-volume nozzles with high-pressure, low-volume ones, which have saved about 1 million gallons of water over the course of a 2,000-hour operating period. Goose Island plans to refine its bottling process still further to reduce water use. Once bottles are full of beer and sealed with a cap, they must be rinsed of any beer that is spilled on the side during the filling process, so that the outside of the bottle will be clean and a label can be affixed. Goose Island anticipates using the water they collect after the empty bottle rinsing process to wash the filled bottle exterior. Uh, and you, is it correct that you pay MWRD based on what's in whatever you dump? Yes. Yeah. Uh, suspended solids. Yeah. Uh, BOD. Yeah. yeah. Goose Island not only works to reduce its water use, but also to improve the quality of the water it discharges by recycling many of the other byproducts of the brewing process. Currently, the brewery collects all of the spent grain and hops for use as cattle feed. Goose Island is working to identify firms interested in using its spent yeast as a raw material for other products. Goose Island's attention to detail has not only resulted in numerous accolades and a large and still expanding market for its beers, but also in responsible use of the water resources it uses. The improvements the brewery has made to its process are not only good environmental stewardship, they're also good for the company's bottom line.